The film begins with Drew Thayer in Lithuania on a spy mission. Drew is in the marketplace, blending in, when suddenly he realizes that he is being followed. He stands at one of the stalls with mirrors and checks his rear view, only to find two suspicious guys stalking him. He then casually moves from one stall to another. He picks up a cue ball from one of the stands and wraps it in his scarf, making a weapon without being obvious. As he makes his way out, a guy pulls his gun out on him, but Drew uses his scarf to knock the gun out of his hand, and an intense fight begins, where Drew manages to get rid of his targets one by one. The scene cuts to Los Angeles, where a girl named Audrey Stockman is playing an arcade game, shooting from a gun controller. She is given a surprise birthday party by her best friend, Morgan Freeman, who is holding a microphone and singing happy birthday to Audrey. Audrey seems surprised and asks Morgan if she stole the microphone, to which Morgan replies that her best friend now owns one. Audrey's co-workers are also there at the party, and Audrey notices that her obnoxious co-worker Tess is also there. Audrey, who was recently dumped by her boyfriend, tells Morgan via text message how she doesn't want Tess to find out. Morgan urges her to lie, but Audrey can't lie, she's terrible at it. Tess comes over to the girls, at which Morgan ditches Audrey, leaving her alone with Tess. Tess asks about Audrey's adorable boyfriend, and comments how a girl like her has a boyfriend like Drew, making it obvious that she's way out of his league. The scene cuts to the chase between Drew and the terrorist group, while Drew outruns them, jumping from a building. Meanwhile, Morgan is seen having a conversation with a Ukrainian guy, Victor, at the bar, who is good at complimenting Morgan's body and makes her laugh. Audrey feels very stressed about her co-workers asking about Drew, and how he left a box of his valuables at her house and won't respond to her texts. Morgan then asks for her phone and texts Drew that they are going to burn his stuff. Drew is seen riding a scooter towards an abandoned house. He gets the texts while running on the stairs and curses. Audrey and Morgan are busy burning Drew's stuff, which includes a fantasy football trophy in which he came second, his boxers, and a handwritten list of his favorite breakfast burrito places. The girls make fun of his stuff and burn it while getting drunk. Suddenly Audrey's phone starts to ring, only to find out it's Drew calling. She picks up, and Drew tells her not to burn his stuff. He tells her that he messed up and is going to come tomorrow to collect it. While he's on the call with Audrey, he grabs his passports, secretly hidden in the wall of the house, and hears someone pulling up to the house. He hangs up the phone, turns the microwave into a bomb, fights the guy who is after him, and leaves the house just in time as the bomb blows up the house. A flashback to a year earlier. Audrey is at the bar with the jukebox, wearing a happy birthday hairband, while Drew gets in her way and pushes her unknowingly. Drew apologizes and wishes her a happy birthday, why, to which Audrey responds that it's not her birthday and she just wears the band for fun. They get along quite well. The scene jumps back to the present, where Audrey is working at the grocery store. A young good-looking British man named Sebastian Henshaw comes in and buys gum. He asks Audrey to come to his car and impresses her with his charm. They talk and laugh while moving towards his van, and Audrey jokes about being shoved into the sketchy vans of strangers. As she gets in the van, she is asked questions about her ex-boyfriend. Audrey is scared, and doesn't know why she's being questioned about her ex-boyfriend in the back of a van by Sebastian and his partner Duffer. However, she tells them everything she knew about her ex, his job, and his podcast. The agents then tell her that Drew is a CIA agent, and that the podcast was just a cover-up job. Audrey is shocked and doesn't believe them, to which they show her pictures of Drew with a gun. They ask her if she had a recent encounter with Drew, to which she starts lying, and she's so bad at it that she gets caught and ultimately is forced to them the truth about the phone call. Audrey races home to Morgan to tell her about Drew. Morgan is on the phone with her mom, and she overshares every little detail about her time with Victor, and some personal details about how he is not circumcised, and tells Audrey that he is in her room. Morgan doesn't listen to Audrey and seems obsessed with Victor. So Audrey gets Morgan's attention and tells her about two guys shoving her in the back of the van, only to tell her that her boyfriend is a spy. While both girls are in the middle of this conversation, where Morgan cannot believe what she is hearing, Drew makes an entry into the kitchen through the window. Drew apologizes to Audrey in her room and gets the trophy from his stuff. Then, Audrey tells him that she knows that he is a spy. Drew tries to explain to her how he didn't want her to know because she could get hurt, 
when suddenly Audrey sees a red dot on Drew's forehead. They get down and take cover while someone starts shooting at them. Drew explains his mission to Audrey and hands her the second place trophy, stating that the trophy is much more valuable than it seems. He tells her that it holds something far more valuable and important, that is wanted by an organization called the Highland. Drew then tells Audrey to meet him at a cafe in Vienna at 11 am, and she must deliver the trophy to someone with the code name, Vern. Suddenly, Victor comes out of the shower naked, holding a gun. It is revealed that he's an assassin, and he shoots Drew. Morgan runs towards Victor and throws him out of the apartment, and the girls, not knowing what to do, leave the apartment through the fire escape. The girls are seen driving in their car, finding a safe place to rest, hide, and decide what to do next. Morgan tries to convince Audrey that they should go to Europe, and to their surprise, their passports are also on the car dashboard. They stop by to buy a luggage bag and fill it with trophies, so that they won't seem suspicious at the airport. Morgan also smashes both of their phones by jumping on them, so that the bad guys won't be able to track them. As the plane takes off, the scene cuts back to a flashback of Audrey and Drew standing at the jukebox, selecting the worst song ever on it. They have a cute little moment, in which they are both happy. The girls reach Vienna and are sitting at the fancy cafe Drew told them about. Morgan had too much dairy and doesn't feel well, so Audrey asks her to use the restroom, but Morgan insists that she can hold it. Still, Audrey asks her to go, telling her that she'll be fine on her own. As Morgan leaves, Sebastian shows up, sits at the table, points a gun at her, and asks for the trophy. He tells her not to make a sound, because everyone at the cafe is after the trophy, and if they find out about it, they'll shoot her. Morgan, in the restroom, sees a waitress named Vern, and goes to Audrey to tell her that she found Vern, and sees Audrey sitting with Sebastian. Morgan tries her best to tell Audrey that Sebastian is not Vern, not knowing that Sebastian is holding a gun under the table. When she sees Audrey reaching for the suitcase and giving the trophy to Sebastian, she screams at the top of her lungs that that's not Vern, to which the whole cafe gets her attention and starts shooting at Audrey and Sebastian. Audrey and Morgan both take cover behind the suitcase while Sebastian fights off the bad guys at the cafe. Audrey also shoots a man to protect Morgan, because of the practice she had playing gun games. Then, Audrey and Morgan run away from the cafe and get into a taxi which was meant to be for Mr. Young. The taxi driver, Lucas, drives them and asks them how he can make their ride excellent today. Then he offers them water and insists on playing music, because he is a DJ. The taxi is followed by assassins on bikes who are after the trophy. Audrey asks Lucas to lose the guys in a car chase, and Lucas gets shot in the midst of the chase. Then Audrey takes the wheel, sitting on Lucas, and drives. Morgan makes her way towards the passenger seat and helps Audrey lose their pursuers. They go to a train station to leave Vienna and go to Prague. Meanwhile, Sebastian and Duffer contact their boss, Wendy, and show her the package. They realize that it is not the right one, Audrey scammed him. Audrey and Morgan have a cute moment at the station, where Morgan obsesses over how Audrey saved their lives, and that she should take the credit because she was so brave. Audrey and Morgan cannot use their passports at the station because of the bad guys, so they make a plan to take tickets from someone that resembles them, and they find a perfect pair of blonde and brunette girls. At first, they try to convince them to give them their passports, but they are not willing, so Audrey and Morgan take them forcefully, leaving them behind, and they go to Prague. The scene cuts to Berlin, where a fashion show is happening. Suddenly it turns into chaos as one of the models, Nadeja, gets a phone call, shoots a guy and drives away. A flashback appears, in which Audrey and Drew are dancing, and Audrey is opening up to Drew about how she doesn't know what she is good at. Drew is just glad that he is with her at the moment. He goes to the bar and orders drinks, while Morgan comes and sits next to him, warning him not to mess with her sister. Drew replies that she is a little much, which hurts her feelings. Audrey tells Morgan that she should have told her about it, but Morgan said she was in love at that time, and you don't tell stuff like that to your best friend. Audrey and Morgan open up the trophy just to see what is so special about it, and they find a flash drive inside of it. Morgan suggests that they should call her father, that he'd be able to help them with what to do. Morgan's mother and father are thrilled to know their daughter is making news in Europe and give her all the help she needs. Her father sets her up with a friend called Roger. The girls go up to Roger's place for dinner, where he makes pot roast for them and serves them the best wine. 
Morgan, who is a vegetarian aside from bacon, doesn't eat it, while Audrey has her meal. Audrey starts to feel sick and excuses herself to use the restroom, while Morgan stays with Roger in the living room, appreciating a painting. Audrey starts throwing up in the restroom, sees a body in the shower, and freaks out, knowing that the man outside in the living room with Morgan is not Roger. Audrey calls Morgan inside, and they both get scared. Now, trapped in the restroom, they think that they need to find a way to hide the flash drive. Audrey asks Morgan to swallow the drive, but she can't because she throws up a lot. They still try to make her swallow the drive, but fail miserably. Then, Audrey comes up with a plan and hides the drive. Nadeja shows up in the living room, pointing a gun towards Morgan, but the man stops her and tells her that they need them alive. So Nadeja injects them with a sedative. Audrey and Morgan wake up to find themselves tied up. Audrey is happy to find Drew's parents in one corner of the room, Marcia and Tom. She tells them that she is so sorry that they were dragged into it because of her, but it turns out that Drew's parents are not who she thinks they are. It is revealed that they are also after the drive. Then Tom holds a knife to Audrey's throat and asks her about the drive, to which she says she flushed it down the toilet. Tom calls Nadeja and she comes towards them, cartwheeling, and assures them that she will get them talking. Meanwhile, we see Sebastian and Duffer outside the abandoned building where Audrey and Morgan are held captive, sitting in a van. Duffer attempts to order their fellow agent to start blowing up the building. Nadeja tortures Audrey and Morgan. Audrey and Morgan try to convince Nadeja that Audrey cannot lie about anything, and she really did flush the drive. Nadeja goes to get her tools for the torture. Seeing this, Audrey and Morgan start telling secrets about each other to Nadeja to gain her trust and to buy themselves time, which works, and Nadeja gets distracted, just giving them enough time to be rescued by Sebastian, who knocked out his partner Duffer in order to save the girls. Audrey and Morgan escape the torture by throwing a grenade at Nadeja, which burns her face. Then, they are taken to the International Intelligence Office, where they meet Wendy. Morgan gets obsessed with the fact that Sebastian and Duffer's boss is a woman, and how she'd love to work for her. Audrey apologizes to Sebastian for not giving it to him in the first place and asks him what's on the drive. He tells her that it has information about terrorist attacks made by Highland, and that with the help of Drive, they'd be able to stop it. Then, Wendy calls Sebastian and asks him to take leave for four months, as what he did was close to treason, so it's best if he takes some time off. Audrey, Morgan, and Sebastian drive off in a car. Audrey asks Sebastian out of curiosity what would have happened if they still had the drive. Sebastian replies that he would find a way to de-encrypt it, see what Highland's plans are, and stop them. Sebastian asks why she wanted to know all this, and she replies that the drive is in her vagina. Morgan cannot believe what she is hearing. All this time, she was hiding it, and on top of that she lied so flawlessly that even Morgan didn't know. Audrey hands over the drive to Sebastian and asks him if they can help him de-encrypt it, to which Sebastian takes a sharp turn in the car, agreeing to take their help. Audrey, Morgan, and Sebastian are seen in the library trying to de-encrypt the drive, only to find out that information on the drive is State Department encryptions. They find that the government made the drive, not the Highlands. Then Morgan contacts her old friend, Edward Snowden. Eddie helps them crack the code and gives them access to the system. Sebastian sees that the drive is much bigger than he assumed, and they must leave right now in order to be safe, because they are in danger, and the bad guys know where they are. All three go to Amsterdam and stay at a low-profile hotel, where they see themselves all over the news. Audrey and Sebastian discuss how what Drew and she had was genuine. He tells her that while Drew was on duty, Sebastian was in the back of the van listening to everything that happened between them, and that she was more to him than just a body cover. Audrey underestimates herself, but Sebastian reminds her of how she used a gun at the restaurant, she didn't tell anyone about the drive, how she switched trophies on him, and how she kept the drive hidden. He thinks she is doing really well so far with the mission. As they enter the room, they find Morgan tied to the bunk bed and Duffer holding a gun at her, making Sebastian and Audrey raise their hands. He tells them that he switched sides and was working for the bad guys because they'll pay him much more for the drive. Little does he know the backpacker that's sharing rooms with Audrey, Morgan, and Sebastian slams him down, thinking he is a robber stealing from them. Audrey, Morgan, and Sebastian take Duffer's body to drown it. Morgan confirms that Duffer found them because she made a call to her father, just to tell him that they are alive and well. 
Duffer's phone starts to ring and needs a thumbprint. Audrey unlocks the phone using Duffer's thumb and sees a buyer arranging a meetup. So they arrange the meeting, and Audrey cuts Duffer's thumb off to take it with them. Morgan disguises herself as the driver to receive the Canadian ambassador and his wife, in order to enter the gala happening in Berlin. They have to pose as two guests from the list. Morgan receives them and takes them to the car, where Audrey sedates them, and they put them in the trunk. Audrey dyes her hair blonde and Morgan dyes hers brown. Then, Morgan says to Audrey that this week was the best week of her life, having the best adventure of her life, and that she is not being judged, to which Audrey asks if she usually feels judged. Morgan says that she's a little much and people judge her. Then Audrey tells her that people are boring and that they don't understand how cool Morgan is, and that she is so proud of her. All three of them reach the gala and are at their positions. Audrey and Sebastian go in disguise and Morgan goes as one of the acrobats. Morgan insists on going on the trapeze, but Sebastian forbids it and asks her to keep an eye on anyone suspicious. Audrey and Sebastian make eye contact with Drew's parents. Sebastian asks Morgan to go backstage, and asks Audrey about the drive, he asks her whether it's in the same place it was before, and she replies that he'll see. There is an awkward moment between them before Sebastian leaves looking for the bad guy. Sebastian goes to the artillery section, just to be called out by a guard to not smoke in that area. He tells him that it's an awful habit and offers him one, but the guard doesn't smoke. Sebastian electrocutes him with his gadget. As he moves towards the hallway, Sebastian gets hit in the head and collapses. Audrey gets a text and asks Sebastian, but he doesn't respond. She takes out the thumb from her lipstick container and unlocks the phone. The buyer asks her to meet him at the artillery room. Audrey tells Morgan about Sebastian not responding, and her going to the artillery room. Morgan goes up the stairs to use the trapeze, being the highest point, to view the whole place to look for Sebastian. As Audrey moves across the artillery room, she gets startled to find Drew holding a gun at her, and to find him very much alive. Morgan moves up the stairs, reaching the trapeze, only to find Nadeja on the other end of it. She tries to go down, but the ladder is not within her reach. Audrey asks Drew how it is possible that he is alive, and he replies that the idea of her being out there all on her own kept him alive, and convinces her that Sebastian is one of the bad guys, he is working for Highlands and is using her as bait to get to Drew. Morgan warns Audrey that Nadeja is alive and on the other end of the trapeze platform. Morgan tells Audrey that if Nadeja gets her, she is coming for Audrey next. Morgan convinces herself that the New Jersey circus training has to come to use now, in order to beat Nadeja. Morgan and Nadeja have a trapeze to remember, and Morgan uses all her strength to fight her off, while Nadeja strangles Morgan and makes it very difficult for her to move. But Morgan uses all her strength and skills to lift herself and makes Nadeja fall on the spikes. Drew tries to explain himself to Audrey and goes through her purse, making it obvious what his true intentions are, he only wanted the drive, and he even says that he loves her. Audrey tells him that drive isn't there. Meanwhile, Sebastian is kept hostage by Drew's parents. Sebastian warns Audrey to stay away from Drew, that he works for the Highlands. Drew shoots his father when asked to remove the target. Sebastian tries his best to convince Audrey that Drew is the bad guy, but Drew blames it all on Sebastian. Drew shoots Sebastian and Audrey takes Drew's gun, points it at him, and asks him if he still underestimates her. Drew tries to take the gun back, but Audrey struggles and kicks him in the groin. Morgan throws a metal ball at him, making him fall to the ground, Drew pushes Audrey to pull the trigger, because she cannot finish off what she started, but she quotes his breakup text to him and pulls the trigger, only to find there aren't any bullets in the gun. She removed them and lied before. She hands Drew over to the cops, and sees Sebastian is alive because he was wearing the vest. Audrey, Morgan, and Sebastian all are well and alive to leave the gala. Then, Sebastian and Audrey share a kiss, and as it turns out, Morgan had swallowed the drive. The scene cuts to a year later, when Audrey is celebrating her birthday in Tokyo, and fights bad guys using gun controllers. It seems Audrey and Morgan did start working for Wendy. This is where the movie ends.